Huh. I made I made a YouTube video around here on this side of the Salvation Army building at some point maybe last year for the Young Ninjas series. I think perhaps it was the one that was like I don't know, do and die and live or something. The idea of Like, kind of living your, I guess, living, like, kind of like living your life in a powerful way is how I would say it in my own words now. Like, and then when you die is when you live, like, you're legend. That's roughly how I would try to put it at this point. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know that I can remember exactly how I said it back then. That series was a good series. Young Ninjas was dope, unless I go back and look at it and it's not all that I thought it was, as kind of happened with the Band from Virgo series. At least later on in watching the Band from Virgo series. Initially in watching the Band from Virgo series, I was actually impressed to the point that I was like, whoa, why am I still living? I've already <laughs> done this. But then as I continued watching videos in the Band from Virgo series, which I was rewatching to create any, the Anything Can Happen to Anyone series, which is like a sequel series. It's a sequel series. That's dope, except for that there's always stuff in my beard. Um, but as I progressed in watching the Band from Furco series, as part of like the process of creating Anything Can Happen to Anyone videos, it wasn't as amazing as... Uh, like, there are issues. So, I may think the Young Ninja series is dope, but if I were to go back and watch the videos, I might be like, oh, this isn't as dope as I thought. But I think it's dope. Young Ninjas is about... Destiny, it's about... It's really about kind of like destiny it's kind of like like if you think of a child and just kind of like what is it that they have or what am I what word shall I think of their potential maybe I don't know. But Young Ninjas overlaps with like that of a child. Teen Ninjas has to do with just maximizing knowledge. So I, I think every Teen Ninja video I've done has been in the library. And at first I just, it was just kind of like a going to different sections of the library and picking a favorite book or favorite um, thing in sections. Um, but then it's start like the last one I did was just the power of like asking questions kind of thing. And I could, and I could uh, throw, like, Dark Road stuff into there, as well as, like, how it was um, kind of just kind of inspired or hyped or or kind of, I, I don't know. It's, I don't know if inspired is the right word. I guess you could say inspired. Maybe you could say hyped, but from the Fargo Comic Con where that one guy was telling me about, um, Sp was it Spider? No, not Spider-Gwen, Gwenpool. 
when there is a guy from Fargo Comic Con telling me about Gwenpool and just learning about this character and that such a character existed that I didn't know about. I even have a Marvel encyclopedia that I haven't looked at for a while. But you would think he said this character came about, I, wa- I think he said 10 years ago. That encyclopedia should be up to date enough to have that character, I would think. Um, so, if I wanted to update or, or add to Teen Ninja videos, I could talk about Dark Road stuff. I could talk about Gwenpool stuff. Um, yeah. That is not what I intended on talking about coming out here, but that's how things go. End up talking about what I'm supposed to talk about, or excuse me, that's how things flow. So from here, where do I go? Because this is not what I thought I was going to talk about. So, Adult Ninjas is about endurance. Um, it's, it's about endurance. There is a month towards the end of last year. Uh, maybe like November 16 roughly to like December 16 roughly where I had a month-long challenge to be out in the cold. Now, during this time, there was not, um, there wasn't um, snow for the most part. I mean, technically, maybe it snowed, like snowflakes or snowed a little bit one day, but, um, or maybe more than one day, but there wasn't like snow on the ground, like winter, winter, you know? But I had two kind of uh, thoughts as I did my rent-free journey last last year, this year, um, is that I, in the freedom that comes with not having a place, not having stuff, I guess, or maybe maybe more so not having stuff that ties me down, but whatever the case, with the freedom from stuff that comes with this, that I could I could just go to California. So my two thoughts were either to go to California, excuse me, or to maybe I should stop saying excuse me. You don't need to know what I'm farting. (laughs) I keep doing that lately. It's like uncontrolled more so. Um, I think that might just be coming with being out and about for some reason. I don't know what part of, I don't know why being out and about or not having a place would just make you automatically just be farting more and stuff and a little bit more uncontrolled than that. But, um, so it's either to go to California or to endure a Fargo winter I don't know if it was to endure a Fargo winter, like the wholeness of it, or to just do a month. Um, but what I ended up doing was just doing a month, and it was a challenge, like a self-challenge. Like, And even before, I was even out and about a little bit, um, because before this challenge, I was uh, staying with a friend for like a month and kind of just healing and stuff so there's been points there's been a few there's been there's been points along this journey that i've either been like in october i was some i was with a friend for a month um after the after the uh month-long challenge that i ended up being with another friend more or less for a few 
months. It was kind of like the base place. It wasn't there every day, but it was there a lot. Um, and also, just in general, over this journey, I know I because I used to keep tabs in my early journals of this journey, of or this challenge or this journey, um, of like who whose place I ended up staying at or stuff like that. And it averaged out to that I ended up staying with someone like one out of every three days. Um, And my rules were that I, kind of self rules were that I would not, unless, unless it was in an effort to be honest because someone asked something and I feel like I need to say something to be honest, um, I wouldn't um, like ask to stay with, it's only off of like offering or if I'm hanging out with someone and they're just like, um, and they just end up, like we just end up crashing there kind of thing. And then as far as showering, I would, um, if I ended up staying at someone's place, I would say, do you mind if people use your shower or something like that? But the month of being out in the cold, it was cold. I had, like, <laughs> I, put, I had this unicorn costume from Halloween that I would put on, and then I'd have, and then I think I have this too, which I ended up getting from a friend who was aware of my Batman robe getting stolen. Um, I think this is what I would wear it's, as well with that Batman robe, or with that uh, unicorn costume, if I remember correctly. And then I would imagine I should have had a s- sweatshirt underneath as well. Actually, I might have been wearing two sweatshirts underneath because there's a point where I stopped wearing a second sweatshirt. There's a green there's a green sweatshirt that I used to wear along with this sweatshirt. And during that month, I might have wore, I think I might have been wearing both sweatshirts underneath. So during that month, I might have had a t-shirt or some kind of shirt under two, like, the light green sweatshirt, one of, like a sweatshirt like this, unicorn costume, and then the jacket over it, perhaps. Um, had like that Indian blanket that that one guy sold me. Thank God, God had the hookup on that because like the day, like rewind to before the winter challenge even. Um, like to when it just kind of started getting cold, there's a dude that came into town, needed money and wanted to sell a blanket. And even with the person I ended up staying with for that month, um, the person that I ended up staying, the family I ended up staying with for like, um, as kind of a base place for a few months, like God took care of me through the winter between people, between the blankets, um, and the person I stayed with for the month in October, um, in his case, like, there might, there might be some, I mean, generally speaking, like, I didn't ask to stay in places, but in his case, and unless there's another case I'm not thinking of, because it was either I didn't ask or if I felt like I needed to say something to be honest for whatever reason, um, but in his case, the person that I stayed with for that month of October, um, he's someone that I do videos with, or that he, for because he has a YouTube channel, he does videos, and so we ended up on the topic for whatever reason. How's it going? Um, of, like, of... Actually, even in his case, I don't think I, like, like, I think I was curious about, I said something, but it wasn't, like, directly asking, but then he started, like, saying something, and then we ended up, like, so I don't think I, like, directly, like, like, asked initially, but I said something that read to him, like, wanting to do that or asking about it or something. It read to him, to him whatever I said read to him as, like, Um, 
as like implying I wanted to live there or interest or something. Um, um, so yeah, so then, so I got through that month, graded myself on it, and my self-grading is in one of the early videos of the adult, or is it in? Oh, I guess maybe not one of the early videos of Adult Ninjas, but like maybe one of the latter ones, I guess. And during that month, which was a challenge, <laughs> if I recall correctly, um, yeah, there was uh, there were videos that I recorded that ended up going towards the Adult Ninjas series. That series, I don't think, is necessarily that great. Young Ninjas, dope. Teen Ninjas isn't, like, even now isn't necessarily developed, but, like, that only has maybe not even, maybe six videos or something in it at this point. Teen Ninjas doesn't have that much. Young Ninjas, dope. Teen Ninjas, okay. Adult Ninjas, eh. Elder Ninjas, Elder Ninjas is okay. And during this journey, like at first I considered it being rent free. Now I've just accept, like, I don't, like I just consider it be, like I'm, I don't struggle against calling it homelessness. But now I might be going, maybe now I'll go back to thinking of it, thinking of it as rent free because when I started this journey, it was like, there was a situation that I found myself in and I flowed with it. But then there was like a, like there was a journey behind it. There was reflection behind it. Um, and perhaps that reflection helped me get through it. And I also have like, this isn't like along the road, like there, I guess there's, there's been times that seem promising, like I'd be able to like get out of it or something. And then those, and then those situations didn't end up happening. Um, but if I really like, but I feel like there's also like, I think I could say that this might be by choice, like, right. Like this is difficult. So like, I mean, but um, like this is, I think, I mean, maybe it's somewhat debatable, but I think I could say this by choice. Like if I really was kind of of a nature of how I think most, because apparently pe some like people that I know even either have been in this situation. Like I have a, I have a friend that like apparently a new friend from last year and she's like essentially like, I guess more or less in that situation or at least could like her situation kind of overlaps with like a homelessness situation. There's another dude who I'm kind of like in an iffy place with because I keep hearing stuff about him and I keep talking to him about the stuff and, and I, he might be being honest, but like, it's just, you keep hearing stuff from different people on different things, even though maybe it's only happened twice, but like, but he, was maybe is but at least was kind of in a homeless situation someone that worked at one of the bars that i go to he apparently had been homeless for like five years um maybe even with his significant other and family at the time so like another girl that i actually gave one of the pieces of my heart there's a series called pieces of my heart and that series is interesting um she um, apparently had been, um, homeless, if I understand correctly. So, but I think what may happen for some people is that they like utterly avoid this situation when they're about to be, and there's another person kind of around, maybe around this time, more or less last year, because I think I was trying to figure out taxes when this person messaged me and was having like her and her child were at risk of being homeless. And I think they may have ended up being in that situation, perhaps, for a little bit I don't I guess I'm not exactly sure but at this point I think they have it figured out 
So this is actually, I did not know, but this is actually something that like happens to people. Um, and, um, I feel like I was going to say something. Oh, and then also I've heard, this is what I was, this is what I was thinking. This is what I think I was thinking. Um, and also I've had people that are, I've had at least one person that's black, if not more. And maybe there's a white dude that maybe does it too. But apparently, like, guys, if they're in a almost homeless situation, they, they'll, like, like, kind of stay with a girl or kind of, like, hook up with a girl. Like, a girl will be their means of having a place. Because I've had one black dude, like, be like, why don't you just do this? And, like, I don't know if someone else said that too and then I don't know and then but then I also think there's a white dude that like is maybe is kind of doing that at least for sure there's the one dude who suggested that to me and then I think there's another white dude from like from foot from a uh, football I don't know if he's still in football but but he I feel like he may have implied something of that nature Perhaps. Either, I don't, like, either that he, yeah, some something along those lines, like, that, I mean, either, I don't know, maybe he does do that, or he, or at least brought that idea for or something. So, there's all these things, like, just how much exists underneath, how much reality is just underneath the hood of people's consciousness and memories and like or just how much reality exists to kind of like extrapolate between from people like if everyone was just open like there's all this stuff that like I like like I didn't know people deal with homelessness that like I know like I didn't know I didn't know that guys I mean potentially use use women for that in if they're in a potential homelessness situation i didn't like what what all of the various knowledge or experiences or truths of human experience or world experience like what what are people hiding what truths are hidden that like are common denominators between us that's like but people want to put faces on and like hide their hurts or like my mom said like i think don't share your dirty laundry or something but yeah this started for me as an as an like an opera i don't know an opera like to be rent free cuz you don't have to pay rent but yet i was still doing gigs i was still there's just certain things you need out here. You need, like, you're going to need a cell phone. I mean, maybe you can get a, get a, find a way around that, but cell phone, you need an address. So I was able to use, like, my previous workplace as an address. Um, and then if, if you're working for someone, like, a, a job that I worked at for a little bit early this year, they'll find a way to, like, put an address. Like, maybe they let you use theirs or something, but you need a phone, you need an address, I would highly advise don't do drugs because in this kind of situation, it can pull that kind of stuff can pull you down into being permanently here. That is my theory. That is my kind of speculation that I feel like. Um, let's see. It might help if you didn't have to do it alone. Um, but you need a cell like cell phone and address. For work purposes, because so because there's certain things that if you don't have, you won't be able to like work. Like if you want to work somewhere or have a gig, certain kinds of gigs or certain work things, they're gonna need an address. So you gotta have somewhere that you can put as your address. But if you can kind of have certain things or whatever, you can not be paying rent, but then still be able to create revenue. Um so, like, it's not an easy journey, but this time around, I've learned, like, 
blankets, at least for me, maybe for anyone, are huge. Like, the biggest, like, the biggest challenge in this journey, I think, was getting good sleep. And now, like, this morning, like, I got, I don't know, three, maybe three to five. Hold on, let me make sure I'm not missing lunch. 56, 11, 56. Okay, I think I still got, like, 34 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um... What was I saying? Uh, oh, blank. Yeah. So I got like three to five hours ish, maybe asleep. Like, if you don't have blankets or if you don't, at least for me, I, pro- I would guess maybe for other people too, but like, like, I I know the value of blankets. Like, I hide them places. I, like, I literally found a blanket on the floor, like, two days ago. Like, a dirty blanket. Passed by it. Walked back to it. Pick it up. Walked. Someone that I knew um, saw me. Asked me if I needed a ride in the direction she was going. Helped drive me up some. Um, got out at the laundromat. And her daughter gave me candy when I was in the car, too. And I know them from the why. Um, It's a treasure to run into kids that I used to work with. Although, as long as I... Or it should be. I just can't... I just have to, like, not... Kind of still appreciate the beauty of the experiences I had at the Y, despite the journey and the struggle that happened afterwards of my time there or at the tail end of it um and she, she the kid didn't remember me though <laughs> the child didn't remember me but got out of the laundromat um washed it maybe should wash it twice but washed it and now i have another blanket i got blank i got a blanket in a place where i could like hidden in a cord- cardboard box in osgood i got i used to have a blanket hidden in the train but Either someone or maybe people that clean that area found it and got rid of it. Um, I have I have like a, some I don't even know what it is, but a thing that I can put like half my body in, and then I can use the Batman black the small Batman blanket that I have to cover the rest of me. Um, but the thing I can use for my bottom half that I just described, I have hidden in like like a vent, not a vent thing, but like. Um, by like kind of by a building (laughs) like the underground not venter but like I I don't even know how to describe like it's a small like kind of pocket area by a window so if if you were to be in the building and look out said window um, you wouldn't see outside like but if you looked higher you might be able to see outside i don't know if that description makes sense to you but it's like a underground with the top uncovered like pocket area by a building that's like outside windows if that makes sense there's some windows um and then i have a blanket hidden over in like over in like fargo like kind of close to west acres that one needs to be, that's the Indian blanket that needs to be washed and dried. Um, and then I have the blanket with me that I described that was, that I saw on the floor that was dirty that I ended up taking to the laundromat and washing. And then I have the bat, small Batman blanket with me that can't itself take care of me. But this time around, I guess I've learned from the first year, will I continue this journey or will I stop? I mean, it's not an easy journey, but if I'm intentional and I wanted to, I guess I got away from the rent-free thing because, um, like I was priding, cause I didn't, I, I thought it might not be good to be like priding myself to be on like, oh, I got the most, like I have, because of what money I had in my account, 
which to some other people isn't necessarily, there's people that make a lot of money, but for me personally, I don't normally have like money stored. Um, and part of it comes from, st- definitely part of it comes from stimulus checks. Um, maybe a lot of it. <laughs> so, and then if you're not careful, then you're using more money on food, more money for food because you're eating out or paying for food because you need to stay in a restaurant or want to stay in a restaurant. But um, there's a way to maneuver this that though challenging, if you're very also, I would, I guess I would also say be very intentional along with the other things that I said of address, cell phone address. Don't, I would advise not to do drugs. Your purpose in doing this should be intent, like intentional. And, um, and I let go of the rent free thing because I like, I mean, part of it may have been like with, I just thought that maybe I should be having pride in money, but for this specific kind of journey, like you need, like that is the benefit, that is part of the benefit of this. And you need those things that you can like hang on to or, or are your pride points or like why you're doing this. You actually like kind of need that. Um, so I might start referring to this journey as rent free again, um, or in some other way, but sleeplessness unless I'm still doing this in the winter, I mean, it will not, should not be the struggle that it was before. So maybe this, maybe, you know, I learn as I go. And it gets easier, perhaps. Um, so I don't have like $3,000 or whatever stored up, whatever I had, I don't know if it was 3000 or whatever. Um, paid off my Wells Fargo debt. But that was, I mean, stimulus checks really went into that. So that can't be can't be said that that's just my effort but um like i now i only have like maybe i don't know one thousand to two thousand i did because i had i just kind of let go i stopped trying to save money i just kind of spend on food and whatnot i'm not so be intentional if you do something like this